Hi guys, back again with another daily analysis. Today is uh, USDJPY. Do you know what? To be fair, I haven't traded USDJPY even though I marked, like kind of we did the analysis the other day. It's just a habit. I'm so used to kind of just trading US study all the time. And um, yeah, but anyway, let's have a look at USDJPY again because I think I do. It's always not wise to kind of, as they say, not to put all your eggs into one basket. I just feel like it's good to kind of know another one or two more pairs as well as you know your main pair like i kind of know us 30 pretty decently well because i kind of look at it every day and i'm marking it up every day do you know what i mean you can kind of kind of know what price action is going to be like with us 30 and with the other pairs i just feel like you know i'm just looking at something brand new and my confidence level is is like okay i don't know the pair very well so i don't I'm not just comfortable, uh, comfortable in kind of just going into the trade without even understanding um, what the pair potentially could do. But yeah, I mean, let's give USDJPY a, a go um, today. But before I do that, let's take a look at the trade that we marked up yesterday where I said that I did not, I was not going to enter at that point. So if you guys remember, this was the entry point here. Um, you know, I, it's at this bullish pin bar print, if you can see this, I'm going to move my it away so that it's clearer but this is the print and i said it's probably going to go down a bit more and i'm not going to enter at that point so um and fair enough it did you see the reason being like i said because this one here my divergence was teetering somewhere at about the 50 um which i was not very comfortable just because i felt that it was going to actually go a bit more down before it actually goes up and hits the profit target so I wanted to get a better entry and I did not. And if I had gone in, either A, I could have put my stop loss a bit more longer, um, you know, a bit more. But I don't like doing that, especially with five minutes. I kind of like, I do give it a little room, but at the same time, the reason we trade and scalp um, lower time frames is because we want to kind of get the best entries with, you know, with smaller stop losses compared to an hour or four hours where you get hundreds of pips worth of stop loss. You know what I'm trying to say? So basically, I... Um, did not enter at that time, but if you go to the 15 minutes, that same, I'm just trying to find where is my, ew, this is Monday, that's yesterday, wasn't it? So hold on, I'm going to show you guys how it played out on the 15 minutes. Let me come see here. Okay, can you guys, mm. It's not this one. This one. There we go. So the same on the five minute. What it did was all it went all the way down, right? We entered. We saw the entry around here. It decided to go all the way down around here. I mean, it decided to go down and give us a nice bullish pin bar. Now this would have been an entry for you to take it up, which is what I did. So I didn't um remove this marking just because I wanted to show you guys where was the original analysis. But then this was the new marker. Oops. Oops. I'm going to just put it here for I'm going to delete that. Give me a second, guys. So right here, you would have now gotten, and I and I put it to this um, support resistance level. So slightly more pips 50, and I took it back up here again. So it's, no, 1.5, sorry. Yeah, about there. Okay, let's not, it's not damn accurate, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's a better entry level, and uh, basically you kind of catch better without having that, um drawdown do you guys get me so over here literally i barely hit any drawdowns um just so i put the what do you call that you know the take profit and stop loss here but actually it's meant for this week okay i just didn't want to override it so if you can guys put it you know just side by side you can actually see you now get a better entry with little to no drawdown if that makes sense you know so i think that's that's why it's really important to know price action and also just understanding your pair knowing that you know what it is going to drop a bit more and um and after that it did give us a nice fan out and it's up again it still hasn't reached the targets that we previously marked up in the videos so we want to kind of just uh, bear in mind that potentially it could go up further right it's just doing small retracements and i would i mean there's news here in the uk at 1 30 p.m and also 2 30 is obviously the opening so of new york and i don't want to fit during those periods so probably in the later in the afternoon if i see any good entries with the bullish pin bar um, I might go in again, but um, there was another entry that I took this morning. 
and I'll show you guys quickly because I don't want it to be too long a video. We need to get to USDJPY. This was the entry I took and I rode it all the way up to the support resistance level here. And I came out, though it did go up further, but I, I came out of the trade. So it was, you know, so this was all the way up to the resistance here and uh, the support level here. And I took it to the resistance to the top, yeah? And you may say, oh, Carla, but all these moving averages were all um, intertwining. So this is clearly an uptrend because the 200 is there at the bottom. And why did I take it? The reason being is because over here, if you notice, this was a straight line on the support level. But if you see divergence, you can see from all the way here, it is forming a bow. Can you guys see that? So even though this is, it's it's basically a, a level where it's showing that it's on a very even level, it's a straight line, but all the divergence is on an upward trend. So I know that the trend is heading upwards and that's why I took it. You know, so sometimes divergence does come in handy in understanding the concept that, you know, if you understand the concept of divergence, you do catch pretty um, early trades on because if you, if you did not go in here, not knowing that there was a divergence and potentially the market is going to go back up, um, you would have missed this and literally there was no pin bar entries here at all. So you would have missed this whole thing. You possibly would have got it along the way um, further up, but this was a nice move trade, you know, a quick one. And um, so, yeah, that was the reason why I got it even then even though it was intertwining just because i i was confident that it was literally going to go up you guys get me so i think being very confident in your trade is super super important okay so that's that's just a breakdown of what i did this morning um i'm going to quickly just look at usdjpy oh it's nice oh it's a nice um downtrend guys can we just take a look at the hmm we probably need to draw more support resistance. So we've got one here coming. So potentially here. Let me just um, clear all of this. Okay. Yep, so we've got a nice downtrend, haven't we? So let's just look at the daily, what it looks like. I do feel it's coming for the 200 here. And then what it does to the 200 is going to be the um, deal breaker, if that makes sense. Well, you have had very nice highs and lows. Um, so I do feel it's coming for this. And if it does do a rejection, again, it may do a rejection, just a retracement up and then come back down again. Just depends what it's planning on doing. I'm actually interested in just seeing. Can I just off all of this just so that it is clear? Bear with me, guys. Okay, but I don't see any divergence at the four hour. So it is clearly on the downtrend. So literally, and I do think it is going for the 200 moving average here anyway, which is right here. So it's about 12800, right? So this is where I would mark this up, guys, Um, at this point. Okay, so this to me would be a crucial zone that it probably could be going for, right? Um, I'm just also, but this is too big. I'm just going to drop it down to an hour just to see. Yeah, we've got, obviously, we've got support resistance zones in between here and there, between this and the target that we are going for. So I'm just going to draw this quickly, okay? Um, probably one more here as well. On an hour because it's hit this point twice let's just go back give us more data points to work with yep we've got one right here okay where our target point is is actually a crucial support resistance zone anyway look at the, this point here where it's come back several times um, but before all of that, there is certain points that we want to look at. I'm just going to delete this just so it doesn't look so messy. We don't need so many support resistance. Okay, there we go. So um, this is what I'm looking at. This, it's, it is a downtrend, so let's not, you know, think otherwise. So I'm just going to see what price action does. I do feel it has got potential to come down. So I am going to drop down to the 15 minutes. 
remove the zone. Okay, it's fanning out really beautifully, and I'm going to turn on my pin bar indicator. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Okay. So, I mean, we did miss this pin bar entry here, but I would not have gone in anyway, guys, to be fair, just because I prefer to take nice rejection candles off. So, I, I'll probably just be waiting. It's probably going to do a retracement up anyway before it um tanks again. That's what I think, because it's really... Yeah, it is probably going to retrace up on a short-term buy. Let's just take a look at five minutes. Okay, it's fanning out nicely for a sell as well. This would have been a nice one on five minutes, guys. See, this is what, this is what I like to see, like really touching the 10. Now, this would be a very nice entry, which clearly I've missed. But this would have been an entry I would have gone in. Literally no drawdown. My stop loss would have been here. It's less than 20 pips, but yeah, I would have rounded it off to 20 pips. This is not even 1.5. There we go, something around there. There we go. This is perfect, isn't it? Just look at this. You know, and this is 30 pips almost. So it's like 20 pips to 30, 1.5 risk to reward ratio. And um, this is awesome, you know. And um, yeah, I would have liked this. So this would have been an entry for me potentially, but because I clearly missed it, it happened at uh, this morning. But um, it's fine. There's always going to be another trade. So this is this is a potential potential entry that I would have looked at, but right now I'm looking for a small retracement back up. And um, if you can see the divergence, it's a bowl. Can you guys see? So from this point, I'm just going to go back up here again. Um, if you can see this point here with this this marker, this pin, um, this candle is, and it's a downtrend clearly. But then on your divergence, you have a nice bowl, so you know it's going to go up right now, right? So um. Right now, I'm just going to wait for retracement to happen. And um, we can we can kind of keep our eyes on it. If you want to look at retracement, it could be somewhere. If this is a five minutes, it probably would be better off doing a higher time frame. But this is where I'll be looking. So somewhere around the 0 0.3, 8 to 0 0.5, possibly even to the 50 EMA, which is 0 0.618, which is a golden zone, okay? So um, keep your eyes on that. And then once you get a nice rejection pin bar um, towards the downside, you can take that down. Because I still do feel it is very much on a downtrend. Let's just look at, um, uh, okay. So if you look at the daily, can you see it is on an uptrend on a 200 moving average, which is why I said it's going to come down here to test the 200 moving average, I personally feel. And if you do get a nice rejection going upwards, then you know the trend is reversing back up. And this was literally just a retracement down, right? So um, this is how I would see it. Yeah, so uh, that's my take on US 34, I mean, sorry, USD JPY for today. So keep your eyes peeled, but that is going to be a short term um, buys on US 30, but that's trading against the trend, guys. So I personally will not do it, uh, at least on the five minutes. Let's see how the one minute looks like. Yeah, I mean, one minute is still on a downtrend. So literally, I wouldn't go on a buy in any of these time frames at the moment. I'll just wait for it to do its thing and then give me a proper signal according to the trend and the time frame it's on. So, yeah, happy trading, guys, and um, trade safely, be patient, and see you guys tomorrow back again with another daily analysis.